Hey, welcome to the Daily with your girl, Drea Love, for Sunday, August 11th. Thanks for joining me on Healing Card Sunday. You guys know it's serious time. On Sunday, we got to check in with spirits, see what it is that we've been ignoring all week, get very serious about our healing, get the incantations on. So here we go with our farting unicorn that is exhaling. I had to wear it today. It's just so entertaining. We have the drink from the Emerald Fountain card. Okay, let's get our healing on. Drink from the Emerald Fountain. The Divine Feminine is encouraging of the awakening empowerment of all living beings. When a sincere seeker is trying to find way, there is much help that is sent. It makes sense to be open to receive it, needed to step forward and drink from that Emerald Fountain, which is unconditionally loving heart chakra of Kuan Yin. Allow yourself to be nourished by the power and love of the Divine Mother flowing to you now. Okay, there is nothing to be gained in making life more difficult than it needs to be, other than unnecessary stress or perhaps the learning that it isn't much fun this way. At this time, you're going through a time of important spiritual growth. Your higher self set a spiritual schedule and is planning on being at a certain destination in time and space to set events in motion to benefit from the synchronicities. You'll be able to live out this divine purpose, this physical world too. Hmm. So the soul is very resourceful in calling for divine help in getting its destination, getting to its destination and time. So when you allow yourself to be helped, Great reserves of support become available to you. Your soul is strengthened and nourished by the loving heart of the Divine Mother and is filled with love from the Emerald Fountains and can flow through you and feel happy, make you feel happier, more balanced, and more content and more peaceful. It can also allow you to be assisted more and feel detached um, the more you will feel detached and trusting. You will find fewer problems arising for you, and when they do, you might be surprised at how swiftly they are resolved, sometimes with only a small amount of effort on your part. This is a benefit of allowing divine forces greater than us individually to nourish and support us. We allow the loving power of that's much greater than our individual consciousness to do the heavy lifting. Our soul path unfolds more joyfully and more quickly in doing without doing. I need to remember this because I get busy and I think too much and I think too hard and I keep going and I think I'm doing something, but I'm probably just going in circles. So I need to really calm the hell down. Okay, so you're at a point in your path where you need to support the support to rise up and break through. You are invited to drink from the Emerald Fountain, accept the love pouring endlessly from the heart chakra of the Divine Mother as it would greatly benefit you. And in even in ways that are not yet part of your consciousness um, awareness, may your spiritual thirst be satiated and may you be supported and assisted by the Divine Mother. A healing of this Emerald Fountain. Here we go. So close your eyes and, lay bre and, and relax. Imagine that before you is a sacred place filled with emerald green light and you hear a fountain. It sounds like a waterfall and a beautiful woman sweetly singing like a crystal bowl being sounded and birds singing. You see or sense the fountain, allow yourself to approach it, realizing that you are in a very special place in great power of love and the heart chakras of the Divine Mother Quan Yin. Allow yourself to breathe and drink in this fountain with respect to love and gratitude and let yourself absorb it. Feel any emotional release and just simply let that be. When you are ready, return to your breath and your body. May, and you may like to finish your healing with the prayer below. As you move through the following days and weeks, be open to saying yes, allowing life to be easier and letting go of which feels heavy or ob obstructing or by having utter faith just in your process being the process. So trust that your process is working and just let it be. So here's the prayer for Divine Kuan Yin, beloved goddess that loves me unconditionally. You have my blessing and permission to assist me with divine energy for my highest good in all areas of my life for now. I kneel at your sacred fountain of love, light, and divine assistance. I now drink from your heart, which fills the light of my soul. I gracefully receive your unconditional loving help. Om Mane Padme Hum. Wow, I love that healing. 
Okay, so as we're at a place in our life where we're receiving these deep healings and encouraging us to think deeper, to open, to allow ourselves release from relentless pursuit of thinking and doing and just allow ourselves to be, where we're going to be trusting the universe that they're supporting us in every way, allowing Kuan Yin, as we call them her energy today, to come in and assist us and um, just help things be moving in a little bit more of a flow and less of a force. And so we probably get out of our way a little bit more than we have historically. I know I tend to get in my way and I tend to think and do and do and do and I'm working on the undoing of that. So I don't know if you guys have challenges like me in the doing doing and thinking that we know better and just not releasing that. But I'm grateful for um, the opportunity to release this because you know we try to have so much control and just releasing it much of the time is all spirit wants from us to let us see what it is that we may not be seeing. Let us flow what it is that's already out there consistent with the flower of life, with the consciousness with that we already have full on access to. We just need to access it and stop all this relentless thinking so I appreciate the reminder that I'm still in my constant mode of thinking even though I think that I'm not and I'm trying to not be but anyways thank you please like comment share and subscribe and pass this on to anybody who you think may need some healing today and some love with grace with grace and also check my website out adrealove.com soul contract readings coaching resources podcast podcast is so much fun especially the one with the boys get a little little sneak peek into my mind and what's going on on a pretty regular basis and what's going on in my life probably too much information also my blog all my socials and um yeah everything me is on that website so in and with love it's me thanks for joining me on sunday drea love